Hello, people. In this video today, I will show you how to install WordPress onto your local machine. So you will be able to make your websites without having to have a domain name and even without purchasing a hosting package. My name is Mazhar, and at Right Solutions, I create tutorials for all you DIY people. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification for my next video. Let's get to the tutorial now. Working on your local machine have a lot of advantages, like you don't need to have a real domain name, you don't need to pay for web hosting package while your project is still under construction. This is a good way to learn and improve your WordPress skills before even you try to go to the live website. You can test all kinds of themes, plugins, widgets, and see what suits good with your uh, project, what you're uh, trying to develop. And not only that, it can be done on a lot faster speed. There are quite few options out there in the market, but for this tutorial, I have selected Local by Flywheel. And I selected this for quite good reasons. Like changing the environment, the development environment has never been easier. And that's what they say. I mean, it allows you to hot swap PHP versions from 5.6 to the, to the latest versions, whatever uh, is available. It makes very simple and easier for you to try out different uh, MySQL ver versions. And of course, this app is getting better and better with all the latest updates. And most of it, it is free. So let's start downloading this app. Uh, just go to rightsolutions.ca slash local. It should take you to the local by Flywheel's download page and follow along with me. So as you land onto their uh, page here, there are two places uh, to download. You can just uh, click here to download for the latest release and you can just click here. It's all uh, the same. So let's click it here. So it will prompt you to select your uh, platform. So just simply click it and see what are your operating system. Or if you're working on a Mac, you can just select Mac. If you're working on Windows or Linux, just, I, I work on uh, Windows, so just uh, I'll click Windows. So selecting your operating system, then you need to uh, provide your uh, info here, like uh, your name, your, your uh, email, and your telephone number. Um, so just uh, provide these details and then say, get it. So as you say, Download it will start downloading the uh, the app. It's about four hundred uh, nine ten uh, uh, megs. It will take a few minutes. Uh, depends on the speed of your uh, internet. Mine it says about five minutes, so it might will take a little uh, lesser than that. So I'll finish your download and uh, then we'll start again. My download is done, and I'm sure yours is done too. So let's uh, go to the download folder where your uh, your download has uh, been uh, stored. So find the the app you just downloaded the it calls local um, for windows uh, it tells you the version of it's for mac it will tell you the mac so just hit enter and the app will start and uh, uh, on the on the next dialog box here it will just prompt you to select uh, who you want this app to be used for so you can just select uh, anyone who uses this computer so just click this one and uh, continue it will uh, ask you for permissions uh, my firewall, so it will prompt you for the destination where to uh, uh, to install this app. Uh, in my opinion, uh, don't change the default folder. Uh, it's generally because most of the app are, are going to the default folder, default folders for all the updates. So better not to change it. So just say install. That's a big application. It will take a while to to just complete it. So just be there. Okay, so installation is finished now. So you can just let this run local, be selected if you want to. And I think that's what we are doing here. So let's run this app, it's completed. So just run run it. So I finished, so it will open up the application. I think we don't need this Explorer anymore. And we also don't need this browser. All right, so here is your local application installed completely. So I believe uh, uh, I will show you the interface of this app later. But as you can see, it's empty, so I cannot uh, show you much. So let's create a website first. So creating a website, you can just 
click this button. Okay, when there's no uh, no website still uh, created, it will have this banner. But otherwise, you can just press this uh, uh, plus sign. It will also do the same thing. So let's uh, give a name. So say my first website at local. Okay. So give a name. In advanced options, it shows you to select your name. It can also prompt you if you want to change your uh, default folder where you want to store your site. If you just click this, it will open up the Explorer and you can just change it if you want. Uh, I normally had uh, uh, selected mine uh, with the previous installation, so it is just taking that one. So normally you can change it if you don't want to store your uh, website into, into Drive C, you can just uh, change it to Drive D. Yeah, maybe you can just uh, make a, a customized folder where it will store. So there's the, the next option, it says create site from a blueprint. I will explain you that what is that blueprint. So right now we don't have any a blueprint if you click it. Okay, mine are there because I already had, but we will create a blueprint and I'll show you how to choose it. So normally, if you click this, it will prompt you if you have any uh, saved blueprint, so it will uh, make website according to that. It's just like a template. So, okay, but we will not go with the advanced option. We'll just go with the, uh, with the default, uh, uh, construction. So uh, just uh, putting your name, say continue. And here uh, there are two options again, preferred one and the custom one. And the uh, same thing, I think we could, we will go with the preferred, but I'll just show you if you press custom. So here it will uh, give you the uh, selection for the PHP version. If you, if you know uh, what uh, web host are you using and what version of the PHP is uh, running there, you can select even your database. So uh, well, my my SQL, but normally um, I think we should go with the preferred one so you don't need to change. So unless you really know uh, your specific requirement, uh, but go with the preferred one. So let's uh, click continue. And here you just need to give the username, username and your password also. You can just add a password, whatever uh, you feel is uh, good for you, which you don't forget. And here, normally you can just leave this default uh, uh, email, but I would always uh, like to give my real email in case I'm locked out with uh, my website so I can just like uh, uh, get back uh, uh, the username, uh, maybe reset my password. So I'll just give my right solutions.ca. So let's add this site here. So it is preparing your uh, website. Uh, uh, preparing website means it is installing uh, WordPress and uh, making uh, uh, your dashboard and uh, giving URLs and providing uh, permissions and uh, uh, services uh, to let this site run on your local machine. So it takes a few seconds, quite, quite about a minute. So just hang on there. All right, here we are. So your website is ready now. If you just look, uh, uh, before we go further ahead, I'll just give you some uh, um, information about uh, uh, the interface, how what it does. So if you can just see, this is the uh, site name which we selected. If you click this, it will, uh, yeah, just, it will go ahead. And with this one here, if you can just see, it shows you the path where your website is uh, uh, stored. If you just simply click it, it will open the, open the browser and it will show you your whole website is in here. So if you just click it, you can just see that this is your app. Like uh, uh, if you go into the public folder, this is your website here. So let's go back again. This is the configuration and the like your your MySQL, your um, your, your engine X and uh, PHP uh, uh, settings. Uh, so your logs. So this all uh, is being kept in uh, this uh, folder here. So let's go back again to the web, uh, your local web. So. Next to this, if you look at the overview here, uh, you can just see that it is giving the information about the web server is being used. So it is uh, engine X and then the PHP version uh, right now, this is most probably the last, latest version right now, 7.35. So uh, it gives you the information about your uh, PHP version and then the uh, database uh, used for this website is uh, MySQL 8.016. So the version of the WordPress as well. And then the site domain, uh, it gives you the site domain information as well. So this is the site domain right now, which is used on the local machine. So if you click this, uh, uh, 
like uh, you can change it if you if you don't like it like if you uh, click change so here it it will allow you to change your uh, uh, your url uh, whatever you want, whatever you're comfortable with. So um, let's do it. So just say my website two. And now if you pay attention, I just typed my website two and let's say change domain. It will just say, please enter a valid domain. And the reason is because if you look at the URLs, URLs are not having any space. So you just need to, wherever you feel that you had to add a space, either it's a one uh, state character or either you have to add hyphens or maybe dashes or whatever, whatever you want. So let's just say, let's say my hyphen website dash two. So now you can say change domain. So it will change your uh, your domain name. So, uh, okay, of course uh, it will ask your uh, permissions again. Uh, uh, my, my side. My firewall is uh, blocking that. Okay. So anyway, so you you can see that you can change the uh, URL if you uh, want to. Normally, no need. So this is again the uh, the site path which we had just seen uh, uh, above here. So it, it just show you where the uh, where your website is uh, stored. So okay, multi site no. Uh, you can create multi uh, uh, sites, uh, but this is a single website. We're not uh, creating multi site. So this is uh, just the overview. And then if you go to the database uh, tab here, if you just click on it, so it uh, can tell you open uh, adminer, uh, it's connected. So host uh, is the local host. Then the port uh, is the port which is assigned for your uh, local uh, web pages. The database name is local. And then your uh, username, it's of course in the root and the password also the root. If you go to the SSL, normally uh, a, there was a, uh, there was a problem with the SSL certificates uh, in the previous version of the uh, uh, the local by Flyv Lab, and uh, there are a lot of people uh, having problem. I, I created a, a video on how to overcome that uh, that problem. Uh, I will put a link somewhere here, uh, here, here, maybe somewhere here, so you can just see if you want to browse that uh, uh, tutorial too. Uh, you never know, maybe you'll come across uh, that problem too. So anyway, so this is uh, uh, like the application is uh, issuing the uh, certificates which can be trusted locally. So you can just see that information has been given here. So let's go to the utilities here. If you click the utility, uh, it is, uh, uh, you know that uh, uh, when we had given the information about our email, so it is operating the Hogmail application. So if you just click it here, it will open your uh, Hogmail app. Uh, the Emails what you had uh, sent. Okay, allow it. So emails what you have uh, sent uh, from your uh, local development uh, environment. It will uh, have all the email here. I, I had sent it. I don't know. Well, okay, it says five minutes ago. Okay, it is like when my WordPress was installed. So it has uh, sent the information uh, that WordPress is installed. So uh, this is the place where you can get your e emails. Uh, of course, if I go to my email, it will just show me the, the email which is sent by this uh, local application. So close it again. So I think we don't need this one. So uh, this is the utilities uh, here. Uh, now, if you go to these uh, two here, if you click here, uh, view website. So your website is loaded. On this place, uh, you can just see that this is my first website. This was the uh, the website title. I can I, I can I will show you how to change this too if you want. So this is the website we just had actually uh, created uh, by installing the uh, the WordPress. You know this is the 2020 uh, theme for uh, for WordPress uh, by default. It's all this. So this is your website which you created. So just we don't need this. So if you click the admin page here, it will launch your uh, admin login page. So here, uh, if you just uh, 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 your, your uh, admin login page, if you just uh, put your admin username and user password and click login, it will take you to the back end of your website. So this is what uh, here uh, is our dashboard. If you are familiar with this, if you're not, we will uh, possibly make, I will possibly make another video how to make a website. Uh, here I'm just uh, giving you the the information about how to use local by flywheel. Uh, making a website, it's, it's a even uh, a different uh, and longer uh, tutorial. I'll possibly we will work on it. So for the time being, you can just see that uh, this is the uh, the back end of your 
your website. So if you click on all pages, you can just see what pages we already have. It's a sample page and privacy page. Uh, so uh, that uh, that's your dashboard. So let's go back. And now here, if you uh, go at the bottom, as we just seen, I, I, I just told you that if you have uh, uh, a website here now, so you add, you want to add another website. So just click plus and it will just uh, prompt you again with the same uh, thing. You can have a lot of websites. You can have four, five, six, seven, ten websites uh, 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 created at the same time and they all be there. You can all even run them. So right now we, we just we'll set with this. Let's go ahead. And then if you get the information here, it's a one site running. If you, let's say, if you have, uh, for instance, you have two, three, four websites and all of them are running. So it will just give you the number of how many websites are running and how many websites are idle. So you can stop all the website if you want. Uh, let's say you have four or five websites running. So you want to stop all of them at the same time. So just click this, all the websites will be stopped. Otherwise, uh, if you are stopping individual website, so you can just go here on the top or select the website which you want to stop and go onto the uh, onto this button here and uh, say stop site and it will stop this uh, specific uh, website. So now let's go further ahead. If you look at this live link, what does this live link says uh, and what is what it does? If you click enable, it will create a live link for this website, what we had just seen. So let's say you are making this uh, website for somebody, uh, for your customer, and you want them to see the progress. So you want to uh, to see them and uh, approve them the, uh, the step where you have reached. So just simply click this. It will open your website into the, uh, into the web browser. Now, copy this and send this by email, this address, and say uh, for approval, and just add that link here and send it. So this is the email which I received, uh, which I had sent it re recently, and uh, uh, assume that your, uh, uh, your customer had received this link, and if he clicks it, he will go and get this website which you had just created get this website open on on his computer and he can just browse and go through all whatever uh, uh, he has it here so you can just see that how useful is this that you can give access to a working project which you are still having out your computer you can send this link and uh, uh, your customer can just uh, uh, go through browse it see what you did and suggest you what he, what is good, what is not, what changes uh, need to be done. So, uh, but there is a condition like, you know, when you are uh, sending this link, there, there are two things which had to be, uh, to be uh, kept in mind. First thing, your local app has to be running. And the second thing, this website, which you are actually sending a link, it has to be also running. If this website is stopped and your customer click that link, it will not take him anywhere. And if your local website is not working, it is uh, off, or maybe it's uh, it, it's not actually uh, running your website, so it will uh, uh, not take him anywhere. So this is a very good uh, uh, improvement uh, uh, for the project developers uh, who can just uh, uh, don't pay for any hosting or any any sites where they need to host uh, uh, their, their projects. Okay, so. As you had done with the, uh, this approval, uh, the important point is you have to disable this. If you don't, that link will be live every time uh, uh, he clicks it, he'll get it. So if you just say disable, it will disable and the reset the link. So now uh, the person who has this link will not be able to go and come and uh, uh, see what you're doing. So it's a, it's a very handy. So it's a it's a good thing to know. So the next, if you go down here. Uh, say connect host. If you click this, you will see that it will prompt you with this your connection uh, with the host. Uh, you know that uh, Flyby, uh, uh, the local by Flywheel. Actually, th this company is a hosting company too. So they also sell hosting packages. If you have a hosting package with them, so you can just log in with their cred uh, credentials. And they actually had already uh, the affiliation with the WP Engine. This is also another uh, good rated uh, uh, web hosting uh, company. So if you have account with any of these two, it, the life becomes a lot easier with your uh, website when your project is done. So you can just take them, uh, 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 
you can just swap them uh, to, to the live server uh, with a few clicks. So anyway, so as said here, so you can just see that uh, we pretty much had uh, covered the, uh, the, the front uh, uh, Part of the application here. The next information, if you if you look around here, uh, just see this green bar. It has some icons here. If you click on this icon, it will uh, bring you to the uh, to the same page here, uh, which will show you the uh, the best way to develop your sites uh, with WP Engine. It's the same thing, or what we were uh, uh, looking at uh, previous uh, uh, page. So it is just uh, click your uh, button and log into the web server where you are uh, having your uh, local uh, live website uh, hosted if you want to. So the next one, if you just look at this uh, uh, button here, click it. So it is having a lot of uh, add-ins. You can add some extensions, uh, some widgets. So uh, like it allows you to uh, add uh, ports. So you can just uh, see all the information for stats, for notes, and uh, you know they have some. Uh, additional tools, which are actually a premium one, you need to pay for them. Uh, but normally, I, I never find any any uh, need to to go for for these things because uh, uh, you just need to develop it here. Uh, you can just get all the information from the WordPress uh, plugins. So anyway, so the next, uh, if you see this question mark here, of, of course, it's, uh, uh, it uh, takes you to the page where it will uh, uh, take you to to the uh, web community where they have their. Uh, uh, people who are actually helping uh, each other. So if you just click this page, it will take you to the uh, to the local uh, by Flywheel uh, community page here. So you can just uh, browse through. If you have a problem, you possibly will uh, find solution here too. It's uh, pretty much uh, onto the uh, onto, onto the general uh, interface. Uh, if you click this one here, it also will uh, take you to the uh, to the local by Flywheel uh, uh, help page. Now let's go dive a little more deeper here. So let's go back again to uh, our uh, local site. This application can do a lot. If you look at this uh, corner uh, on the on the left side here, you will see that uh, one uh, menu, burger menu. So just click on it. You will see that there are some options here. So if you say, if you see this first one here, it says add new site. This is the same thing what we did with this plus sign. So if you click this, it will prompt you a new website. So uh, the next one is import site. Uh, I'll show you how to import site. Uh, uh, it will actually import the site which we had previously uh, previously exported. So we'll just get to the, get to this uh, uh, later. Uh, preferences. We'll just go to the preferences uh, uh, still further. Okay. Now these two options here: reveal local routers log. If you click this, it will open the folder where your logs are being kept. So if you just click it here, you will just see that error logs. If there's any error, you will just uh, uh, get the reporting of the errors here. Uh, if you just uh, go to the bottom, you will just see the latest one here. So whatever error you faced, you will just uh, uh, get these uh, error messages here. So it's very handy. Like sometimes you face a problem and you don't know what is uh, uh, causing this problem. So this will uh, show you the uh, to the router's uh, uh, log. So this, even if you look at this, uh, the second one, that's a locals log. So that was the first one was the local uh, router's log. So this is the the log for the application. So uh, that's uh, another thing. You can just click it and you can just see that it will give you all the information, all the processing uh, this has been doing. So uh, in case if you need uh, uh, help, sometimes it uh, uh, causes a problem you're not able to solve yourself. So you copy this log and send it to their community. So they will be able to uh, possibly uh, trace you the problem. So these logs are handy. OK, so let's go back again. OK, so uh, let's head to the preferences. So if you go to the preferences here, uh, there, there, there are some options here. Uh, so first options, the appearance and the behavior. So uh, there, there are uh, theme uh, for the for the app. So if you just look there, there are two. One is dark. If you just click this and apply it, you will see that the the application will uh, uh, change its interface uh, to the to the darker. Okay, it's good when you're working at night, but normally uh, I I always like to use the the, the lighter uh, interface, so I leave it on uh, on light. So here uh, next, uh, if you go and see that it says new site defaults, click it here, and you will just see that uh, it will uh, give you the settings. All these new websites which you are actually trying to create, it will create according to these settings. So you can just say that if you want to create all the new website with the custom uh, settings, uh, it will always it will go to the custom uh, custom settings uh, without performing, uh, without sending you to the to the preferred uh, uh, selection. But preferred is uh, preferred. So 
The next one, if you see, it says the admin email. So this email uh, is the, uh, by default, uh, they, they have this email. But if you want uh, your real email, you can just uh, put it here so you don't have to fill this email every time uh, uh, it prompts you. So uh, your choice, uh, I, I would uh, change it uh, to one of my real, so it will send you the uh, to the information uh, what's happening with your website. So the next one is the domain suffix. This is the uh, the name what you see on your uh, uh, URL. At the, like uh, if you know that uh, the top level domains. Uh, well, when say your dot, uh, your domain dot com, your domain dot net, your domain dot org. So to get your, your website running on the local, so it is giving extensions uh, local. I think you shouldn't change it. Let it be. I mean, you can change it, but normally let it be. So this is the next is the site path. This is the same site path we already browsed with the time. So if you just click it, it will open this. And if you want to change it by default, so just click it and uh, um, make another uh, folder somewhere or maybe so it will uh, store all your uh, new websites on that place so you know where they, uh, these websites are. Okay, so this is uh, uh, what about the, uh, the select settings uh, for your uh, new sites. So next one about exporting. We will also export a site and uh, uh, I'll show you, but normally uh, this is uh, uh, giving the information if you want to exclude something like possibly that you have a video there and you don't want these videos to be exported because it might uh, create, create bulky. So, so you can just uh, put the the star dot and the, the extension of that uh, exclusion. Generally, you don't need to change anything because uh, if you're if you're exporting the whole website, you're exporting the whole website. So uh, next uh, is the advanced. Uh, if you click this one here, here you will see uh, some uh, uh, information. First information, which is this is very important and sometimes it is very crucial because I had actually created two uh, videos uh, uh, previously. Uh, uh, I, I faced one problem uh, and then uh, I, I noticed a lot of people are facing this problem and I uh, created a video about this uh, rot rotor mode. Uh, rotor mode. Uh, so there are two modes available. Uh, if you look at this, uh, one is side domain. Uh, which right now we are actually operating on. The second one is the local host. So sometimes when you create a site name is like, uh, uh, if you can just see that we, we created my first website, that's a site name. So if you uh, uh, create a website with a site name, sometimes your permissions will not allow to access the, uh, the, 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 the SS uh, L certificates and it will create a problem. I had created a video, I will put a link somewhere here. I don't know, I mean, it's upside down, maybe on this side, maybe on this side. So you will uh, get a notification for that uh, uh, error video, which I created previously. So uh, you can select site domain and you can select local host, uh, preferably a local host. I would uh, s uh, say local host, uh, you can change it, but uh, okay, let it be site domain if it is not giving you trouble. So the uh, second one, and my point is, if it gives you trouble, come back and change it. Okay, so the, the next one you see the show develop menu. Well, by default, normally you don't need to uh, see the uh, the developer's uh, menu, but uh, if you want to just uh, 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 click it and say apply. And now if you go back to this burger menu here, you will see that there's another uh, uh, option had come into your uh, your drop down menu, which says develop. So if you just click this one here, it will open up uh, a console which will give you the information about the elements and all the errors, whatever is happening. It gives you the information about your network, your source console and uh, element. So you can just see uh, all what is happening. I don't suggest that you should, if you don't know what you're doing uh, with this code, don't touch it, let it uh, run. So just simply close it, we don't need it here. So uh, I'll just let this be off. It is by default off, so I mean, Maybe by default, not off. I mean, uh, you can just uh, switch it whenever you want it. So uh, as we've done with the uh, with the advanced settings here, the last one is uh, known as Blueprint. So if you click here, uh, you can see that there are two blueprints here, uh, basic uh, Blueprint 1 and the temp uh, to delete now. Okay. These are the uh, the blueprints which I, which I created previously. So it is here. I'll show you how to create these blueprints. And these are the blueprints like uh, template. Every time you're making a website and uh, uh, you select that template, uh, let, let's say you created a website, you install all the plugins you want, you installed all the all the settings, uh, uh, you did all the settings with that website, and now you want every website to base on this setting, so you don't have to go through uh, uh, this every time. So this blueprint will create the website exactly 
on the same settings. So uh, I, I'll just show you uh, in the, in the uh, next step uh, how to create the, uh, the blueprint. So, so we are done with this uh, one as well. So let's uh, uh, close this and uh, uh, let's head back again uh, to the to the next step. Till now, you possibly have seen almost everything on the on the on the website. What you uh, uh, think that you know about it, but there's something big which we should uh, know. If you click this website here and right click on it, yes, you'll see a lot of another option here. So let's say if you say view site, it will just open the site uh, as we had just seen uh, uh, with this one. Now, if you say admin dashboard, you click this, it will open this admin dashboard. If you're not logged in, it will prompt you to log in. And if you're logged in, it will uh, 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 show your dashboard. So this is, if you click this, it will show you the folder uh, where your uh, uh, your website uh, uh, is kept. And if you say open shell site, it will show you the shell where you can just uh, uh, do some stuff uh, if you know what you're doing. So let's say go further down here. So it says restart. I mean, your site is running right now. If you can just see that the, this green button shows that your site is on and this uh, also shows that your site is on. That's why the, the stop button is uh, uh, enabled. So if you say uh, stop, it will stop. If you say restart, it will stop and restart your website again. So if you want to do for some reason, like or maybe your uh, site is hang for some reason that you you don't know what's happening, so you can just restart it. You can force it to restart it, and then you can uh, if the site is not running and uh, this will be enabled. Right now your site is uh, running. That's why it's it's uh, it's great. So uh, this was this is what when we said uh, export. So uh, like if you click this, it will export the website. So let's export it. So I'll, I'll show you how to export it, how to import back. So just simply say normally you don't need to change anything here as uh, we've seen previously so just say export site it will prompt you where to store it so okay let it be on a desktop so just simply uh, say export it is exporting it will take a few seconds it depends on the size uh, of the of the site don't forget it has uh, word plus also uh, also installed on it so it is just uh, taking a few seconds so bear with me your export is done. You should receive a message normally. I don't know why it has not given me a message, but you should receive a message that your site is uh, successfully exported. So, okay, go back again to this. Okay, so let's see here. If you just go down here, after export, you will see that save as a blueprint. So this is the blueprint, which you had seen previously. If you just say select the blueprint, so it prompts you to change the name if you want. I just leave it as it is. So just say that, and if you want to exclu exclude any files, don't need to so just say save blueprint here so it is saving this website what you had just created what you had actually customized the way you want it it will be saved as a template so next time when you're making a website you simply uh, uh, can use this well, i'll just show you so if you go back again uh, in, in in preferences here and you just go at the bottom you will just see that we had just created a new uh, uh, one more uh, blueprint here my first website at local so this is the blueprint what we just created. So close it. We just don't need to do anything here. So if you just right click again and just see uh, here, it says the change domain. We did change the domain previously. You know that uh, uh, how to change. Sorry, I'll just uh, let this be here. So we already changed the uh, domain here. So let's go down again and you'll just say that rename. Now, what is this re rename here? So my this rename is here, the rename of your directory. You can just say that my site number three and just rename the site here. So this has changed the name of uh, your, your your directory as well. So go back here. If you just look at the, uh, okay, this uh, option, uh, grid uh, change workspace. Normally, uh, this is not enabled uh, because uh, this is generally for the uh, uh, for the people who have their premium service uh, and they're working with teams, not uh, not a single individual and free version. Delete means, let's say, we'll, we'll just show you how to delete the website as well. But uh, I, I told you that I will uh, show you how to import the site. You remember we exported the site, so just go back again and let's say import a site. And this is the website which we just exported. So not to forget this. Uh, I just wanted to show you how to import it. So just say, click import this, say open, 
and here it will try to bring it back. And now, of course, because you have this already uh, website with the with one name, you want to change it, you can just change it. Otherwise, because we renamed already the previous site, so it will import it. But let's say we just say for, for to be safe, just say add a two my first website at local two. So just say continue, and uh, uh, it is asking you which uh, uh, method. So let's go with preferred. Uh, you might, if you want to change, you might uh, want to change your your, your PHP version. Or maybe my SQL, but uh, go with preferred one. Okay, import it, and it's just uh, bringing back all these uh, uh, files which we previously exported. So hang on, a few more seconds. Here we are. So your import and export also finished. So if you can just see that. Uh, this uh, website which we just imported, this was the previous website which we renamed uh, uh, earlier. So now you can see that uh, if, if you look at the uh, these uh, green buttons here, you can just see that the both sites are running. At the bottom, you can just see that two sites are running. So uh, if you want to stop all, you can just say stop all, you can just stop one by one. So let's say stop this website which we just imported here, uh, because there's a one thing which is left uh, uh, to complete this tutorial is how to delete a website. So you don't want to get up piled up with 20, 30 websites lying down in your uh, computer somewhere and you don't know what is taking your uh, space on a hard disk. So uh, to getting rid of all these uh, projects which you, which you had experimented and you just don't need it again, you need to delete it. So just say, click here, right click and say delete and it will ask you what you want to do with this. So just say, if you don't want to send it to the recycle bin, just uncheck it. But safely send it to recycle then you can empty it later so just say delete the site and here it is just deleting your website it will again ask some permissions uh, it, if it did not yeah it is asking me the permission again because it is uh, deleting it uh, my firewall don't want anything to go away all right so your website is uh, also uh, uh, deleted so i think that concludes the full tutorial of uh, uh, this application local by flywheel it's a very good application and i'm sure that uh, this will give you a lot of learning curve uh, it will give you a lot of benefits to, to experiment on all the uh, thousands of uh, plugins outside so uh, if you think uh, this uh, video was help don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, uh, give me thumbs up share it with your fellows uh, friends who are uh, keen to learn uh, and do stuff uh, by themselves by their computers. So, until my next video, uh, stay safe.